Good morning, dear friends, and welcome to this morning meditation coming from Life Spring Assembly. This is Pastor Mathai, the pastor of the Life Spring Assembly in Lucknow. And I am sorry that today we will not be having any translation into Hindi because our translator is indispensable. Uh, and so, um, this is only for today, but uh, we will continue to have a translation in the days to come. But I didn't want to break, uh, have another break, uh, and so I am doing it in, in, in English. Now, today uh, I, I have a three series of, of meditation, short, short meditation, from uh, Joseph of Arimathea the man who was connected with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, especially in the burial of Jesus Christ. And uh, we must look into his ministry for the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verse 43 says, uh, chapter 15, chapter 15, verse 43, uh, it says here, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent council member who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, coming and taking courage, went in to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Now I want you to notice especially his courage. As he was a secret disciple of Christ. He was a member of the Sanhedrin. And as you know, the Sanhedrin was headed by the high priest. And um, all of them were against Jesus Christ. And uh, no member of the Sanhedrin was allowed to believe and follow Jesus Christ. But thanks be to God, even from among them, Sanhedrin members were all together 70. That is the ruling council of the people of Israel. Now, so we have two such secret disciples among the members, synagogue rulers. One was uh, Joseph of Arimathea, and the second one was Nicodemus, who came to see Jesus in the night. A secret disciple of Christ, Joseph of Arimathea, it says here, what brought him out of his hiding? It was the cross. See the effect of the cross. What the world would despise. And the world look at the cross as a symbol of a shame and a curse. The, but the, the cross of Jesus Christ on which Jesus died speaks to us today that what was a symbol of curse was turned into a symbol of the greatest faith in the world. The cross. The cross brought uh, this Joseph of Arimathea out. Out of his hiding. He was a secret disciple of Christ because of fear. But the cross brought him out of that hiding into public. Probably the phenomenal events surrounding the cross turned Joseph from being a secret disciple into a bold disciple. That is the effect of the cross upon his life. And my friends, the cross is still speaking to us. Because what was a symbol of shame and curse was turned into the symbol of a courage as it is the symbol of the greatest faith in the world. 
and now he has become a bold disciple the behavior and words of jesus during his trials and then the darkness while jesus was on the cross the earthquake as soon as jesus breathed his last the torn veil or the curtain in the temple which was torn from top to bottom the moment jesus breathed his last and when joseph of arimathea witnessed all these his mind connected the claims of jesus with the old testament prophecies and saw the prophets prophecies uh, fulfilled in jesus and when joseph of arimathea watched and he could clearly see the fulfillment of prophecies concerning messiah through all these things of the event that happened he stepped forward braved all risk and took his stand for jesus jesus is already dead but here is someone important oh blessed be the name of the lord <laughs> the cross brought him out of hiding and made him a bold follower of jesus christ the courage stirred by the death of jesus and my brothers and sisters what other things could not accomplished the cross accomplished in the life of this man the primary thing that stirs courage in a believer is the cross that is why we should never lose sight of the cross and apostle paul for him the cross was the one thing that he could not get rid of he said if i boast i boast in the cross of jesus christ and joseph courageously asked permission to take care of jesus body and today what is the body of jesus christ joseph of arimathea took care of the physical body of jesus which was crucified and died now but today the body of jesus is what it is the church you know when his physical body is dead and went into the grave and on the third day he rose again with his resurrection body he that event gave birth to a spiritual mystical body for the lord jesus christ marvelous isn't it we are to step forward we as members of the church or the body of jesus christ we have to step forward and take care of his body it is the responsibility of every single person who attend the church who is the believer in jesus christ and who belongs to his church especially in times of special need and today is that hour of need higher and more than any other time persecution is increasing and the problems are increasing for to be a christian a true christian in anywhere in in the world and particularly in india it is not a dead body of christ the church is not dead religion no with some rituals and uh, formalities no but the church is a living reality a living organism but therefore this body of christ the church is always under the threat of death both internal conflict 
and external persecution. The vision of the cross makes us courageous. In the midst of the hardest trial and persecution and torture, what gives people of God the courage to take their stand and remain faithful to Jesus? It is the vision of the cross. And we remember the one who went into the cross and died. And my friends, that's what Joseph of Arimathea speaks to us. You know, there are four acts of Joseph that shows he made a courageous commitment to Jesus. And in the coming two uh, devotions of this week, um, we will consider these four acts of Joseph of Arimathea which made him a courageous soldier of Jesus Christ. And let us be like like Joseph of Arimathea. And there are some of you maybe still hiding. You don't want others to know you are a follower of Jesus Christ because of the threat and all that. But the time is coming, my friends. You need to come out into the open and take your stand. No one can hide all the time. It is the time the call comes very strongly. Come forth and take Joseph of Arimathea as your example. A true follower of Christ who committed himself to follow him and believe in him can not, cannot remain hiding all the time. A moment will come when you have to stand up and take your stand in public for the glory and honor of Jesus Christ the Lord. For this May God grant you his grace and your, his courage within you. Uh, we need the Holy Spirit for that. O oh Lord our God, we thank you for your presence with your people. We thank you for the blessed Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us and gives us the instructions that we need to be courageous and faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we are in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where we need to take a stand and be able to stand up for Jesus. Give all of us that courage, determination, knowing that our God will never abandon us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessing be upon you, my brothers and sisters. And young people who are listening, God is with you. This is a great day. Stand up for Jesus. Amen.